Hi guys and uh, welcome back. I think you might have noticed that I dyed my hair blue. I don't know what's in this hair dye, but it finally did the thing to my hair. It did that kind of damage where your hair just like can't be frizzy anymore. It's just, it's smooth and it behaves nicely. Like my hair never behaved that nicely. But we're not here to listen about my hair, right? We are here for September beauty updates and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into the updates. The first one that I have here is this toner, rice toner from Shingmul Nara. It's uh, not a brand that's very well known outside of Korea, but I think you might know this type of product because it is a rice toner. This toner contains hydrolyzed rice extract, rice bran extract, rice water, other rice derived ingredients, and the rice that has been used for this is homegrown, it's like Korean grown rice. It promises to make skin clearer, brighter, maybe whiter, to moisturize and keep the texture very smooth. It has a very nice creamy texture and it's recommended for all skin types. Now let's get into my impressions of it and personally I really liked it. I originally got it from Olive Young because it looked quite big and I thought, well, practical. First of all, I wanna put it out of the way here, like I usually don't notice any whitening or brightening effect of the products because just my skin tends to get randomly tanned because I live in a very sunny location and I have um, a significant amount of acne scarring around here and acne is recurring because half of it is hormonal, half of it is when I eat sweets, so I'm not gonna stop eating nice stuff sometimes just because I want my acne to be gone, you know? Like, I mean, I could, and sometimes I do that when I have some important event or something coming up, but in general, I just, I won't skip my ice cream, you know? Anyway, what I am trying to say is that I wouldn't be judging like brightening or whitening qualities of this so much because I, my face is not the best like measure for this particular point. Also because it tends to get really irritated sometimes, especially in some areas. And it's hard to notice if something is brightening if your face is like red. I do think that it actually does have very good moisturizing qualities though. I usually use it in DIY masks, like when I put it on a cotton pad and just slap them all over my face, or I just apply it straight to the face and I layer several layers to kind of pack that moisture in. I think it does help with skin texture a little bit because I notice that when I do use this on a daily basis in like quantities enough to moisturize properly, my skin gets a lot less bumpy. I think this is a good option if you want to try a rice toner but you want like a bigger packaging or um, I mean if you just want to try a rice toner I guess. The next product that I have here is this um, what is it Hydra Boost Enzyme Powder Wash from Tear Tear. I love enzyme powder washes because usually they exfoliate very well. Keyword usually this is why I got this and I mean it gives you that usual promise it has all of those ingredients that are usually in enzyme powder washes that are supposed to like polish and exfoliate your skin however in my experience this thing didn't really do anything for me like I know we're supposed to love this brand but we're supposed to love it for different reasons I think I feel a little bit like some sort of a heathen talking about it like this, but this is one of the most useless purchases that I've ever had in a while. If I were to start at the beginning, first of all, this product has a very fine powder. So when I put it on my hand, this powder, it flies up and like it gets straight into my nose and it's not the very pleasant feeling. Like imagine you are crawling under a very dusty bed or something, or like you are renovating a house and you're going into a room where someone is like tearing up the wallpaper or or even the wall itself and like all this dust is getting into your nose this is this kind of feeling and i don't think that's a good thing because i do have other enzyme powder washes like the more pacific one which is also a very very fine powder but it doesn't do that thing where it just goes everywhere and like hurts your nose and or i mean it doesn't hurt it's just you know not pleasant sensation dust in the nose not nice as for its actual exfoliating qualities i think it has none of it I want to be a little bit positive or like I don't want to dismiss it although why do I not want to dismiss it anyway maybe my skin is just not thin and sensitive enough for this to like have any sort of noticeable effect but I'm used to products that clean a little bit more thoroughly after I use this my face doesn't feel clean I definitely see and feel that the gunk from the face especially after a long day outside especially if you're wearing makeup or sunscreen it's not gone even after you wash off the makeup like there's still 
a layer of something that you need like a second cleansing for and this thing doesn't do anything i mean honestly it doesn't even do anything if i'm using it fresh in the morning i, I just I, I don't know you know i just i don't know uh, what else to say maybe if you do have like very very thin very very sensitive and like super irritated skin maybe maybe you would feel something like honestly i'm not even a person who likes the super squeaky clean feeling myself no i don't but this one doesn't provide any sort of clean feeling. You know, I could talk a lot about how I'm disappointed, especially because I bought it because some of my favorite ones are running out and now I have to buy something else or like I have to repurchase the, the actual ones that I like, the Papa Recipe one or Ariul one. Anyway, I'm rambling. So the point is, no, this was not good. And now to make like 180 from negativity and disappointment to satisfaction and positivity, let me introduce this product from Mamond. It's the Rose Liquid Mask boosted with 10% PHA Flora Glow. This is a reformulated version. This product promises to, of course, exfoliate your skin to prep the surface for subsequent application of either makeup or other products and make skincare absorb better and makeup look better. But it also promises to give you like that sheen glow that um, you can see sometimes on celebrities face this is actually their words not mine i think if you use this the first thing you would notice is that it smells like bubble gum it smells like pink barbie something from early 2000s it just smells like something sparkly and pink anyway enough um the texture is not quite watery there's like some slight viscosity to it you can apply it straight to the face or if you just want to prep your skin for makeup you can apply it on a cotton pad and then strategically wipe your face yeah i mean i guess you can use it topically as well but i just use it all over my face this is a product that i feel kind of weird about weird in a, in a very good sense I definitely noticed a difference, although I haven't used that much. I definitely noticed that my skin became less bumpy visibly, like not in the big bumps that can be, you know, like blemish about to be born or something else, but you know, like those surface texture kind of bumps like pores or sometimes, you know, like maybe like old acne scars or like whatever, you know, like skin is weird, like sometimes you have those things. I'm curious about how this is going to work in the future because I haven't used that much yet, although um, already the difference is here. I want to keep it as my out-of-shower exfoliant. Uh, what I actually consider like in-shower exfoliants is the, the peeling gels, the enzyme powders, and uh, I think that's it actually, or like the cleansers that also contain the peeling exfoliating agents but this this is um, like a toner type of exfoliant that i usually keep out of my shower room oh my god shower room <laughs> bathroom like i keep it just on the skincare shelf and use it in uh, like in my ordinary routine like after cleansing i talk too much for something so simple don't i anyway this is very good also the part where it preps the skin for makeup is also a true claim it it really does um i think usually even even if you don't apply something like this kind of exfoliant usually if you use like a primer the makeup is gonna look okay it's gonna look nice but i noticed that when i use this makeup looks really significantly better no matter if i use primer or not it just gets better and i think this also makes the subsequent primer and have a better like adhering powder with the next product like foundation or something so this this is something that i definitely would recommend anyone to try just at least to try because first of all it's not that expensive anyway this is like 10 out of 10 total recommendation and um the next product is something very popular, is this, it's carrot carotene toner pads from Skin Food. I know that they've been popular for a while and I usually resist a lot before buying something so popular. Not because I'm trying to be like, oh, I'm not like those people just buying into the hype. No, it's just because usually like when I buy something, like if I don't feel like particular pull towards it, I'm just not, go not gonna buy it no matter how popular it is because yeah but the hype was not dying down and they are still very popular and yeah i just got curious really and i, I guess carrots are cute as well and skin food is a brand that i kind of know to have some good products so i was like 
Okay, I'm not gonna resist anymore, so I got them and I think it was like one of the best purchases I've had in the past couple of months for several reasons. First, let me just explain what these things contain and what they do to you. So those toners are supposed to be cooling and moisturizing and hydrating and soothing. Cooling down is actually an interesting claim, isn't it? And oh my god, was I surprised to feel for myself that this claim is actually true in this product. One of the main ingredients in this is um, carrot seed oil and carotene derived from that carrot seed oil. I think that's how it's supposed to work. The pads are actually quite thick. They are actually very juicy. The tissue that the pads are made of, it holds on to this juice very well. For example, I do tend to separate it for all of the areas except for the cheeks, because for the cheeks I just like to slap them on and keep them for a longer time, and there's enough of product to actually hold up there for quite some time. As for the result, they are incredibly hydrating, they are very soothing, skin feels extremely, extremely, like, unbelievably comfortable after using this. As for the cooling sensation, it's not your typical cooling sensation, like toothpaste type, that products with like mint, menthol, eucalyptus have. This is more of a, you know, like when you sit in a cold environment for a long time and you touch your skin, you just kind of feel like the surface of your skin. It's not cold, but it's just lacking heat. And this is exactly that feeling. It just kind of chills the surface of your skin. It's so comfortable, especially like after a day out in the sun or after a day at work when you just want your skin to feel good. It's a very, very nice sensation. How often is that the product makes this kind of weird-ish looking claim and then actually delivers? That's not very often. Actually, Mamonde one also delivers on the mask kind of phrasing. It's not even a promise, right? It's like marketing phrasing and the actual effect of the product. How connected are they kind of thing? Anyway, try and get it. It's awesome. The next one is actually the masks from the same lineup. It's the Carrot Carotene Daily Mask from Skin Food. And I just got them together because since the pads got such hype, then this might have potential as well. It's actually very good. I would say since those dry up faster, the hydration like is not as strong. But I guess for a five minute morning boost, that's perfect. Anyway, this is also very good. If you are into those kind of daily masks, I definitely recommend this one to try. The next item is a makeup item. This is the Soft Blur Cheek Blush from The Zeke. Mine's in the shade uh, 03 Bubble Coral. I just wanted to mention that this is a very decent product. The texture is very nice and powdery and soft. It gives you like a very nice natural finish. It's very easily blendable as well and the color payoff is very good. However, the color itself, when you apply it on the cheeks, might look a little bit super bright, like neon kind of bright, so you have to be careful not to overdo it. But if you don't overdo it, this can create like a really interesting finish and it's just in general very easy to use, so this is also a good one. Next product is this um, Blemish Care Sleeping Pack from the brand that we all know, it's Isoe. They are very well known for their pink anti-blemish line. It's said to contain vitamin C derived from the Bulgarian rose extract, if I understood it correctly, because like I didn't know that actual rose extract can contain vitamin C, but the more you leave, the more you know. Although the ingredient that I found to be the most interesting in here is the Chinese sumac tree extract. I think it's Chinese sumac go extract. That's what it properly should be called. It's supposed to give you like a more healthy and useful uh, radiant appearance. And apparently it also can have antiviral properties. It also apparently can be effective against herpes, which is like interesting. As for the actual effect of this thing, I do believe that um, the claim that it gives you a fresher look that's true, because after using this, the skin looks more even, there is less, like, a, what are those called? The dark, dark spots. They appear in less contrast with the rest of the skin. They're still there, they're still there, but it's just like, skin overall looks more, like the color is more unified. I guess this can give you that rejuvenated look. But when it comes to the claim that it can take care of blemishes, I think, you know, the Cosrx acne patches deal with them faster and in a more effective way. It's definitely not bad, like, I think if... Like, I would definitely recommend it, you know, because the um, rejuvenated look, like, it gives you that. And blemishes, like, it kind of dries them up, but... 
I was just saying, like, if you expect it to have, because I expected it to have a bigger effect on blemishes. So yeah, like overall, it's a good product. I think it's just, I think my confusion about it comes from the fact that since it's from the blemish care line, I expected it to have more effect on the blemishes. So it's like, yeah, like it's good, but it delivers on other things rather than it's like blemish fighting properties. Next product is also a sleeping mask. And this one is from Ohui, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's the extreme white sleeping mask. And like, of course it does have like those ingredients that are supposed to help with brightening, like niacinamide, um, vitamin B3, daffodil extract, and I think some other ingredients. But to me, what really stood out about this mask is not its whitening part. A couple of minutes ago, I rambled about my skin reaction to whitening products. So I, again, I can't really say anything about like exactly this whitening claim, but this mask is a monster when it comes to hydration and lifting. And those are not even claims that... I think lifting is not even a claim that's in there. I think hydration is there somewhere, but lifting isn't. And what I did notice about this mask... Actually, let me also mention while I haven't forgotten it. This one also sticks to the pillow, which is sad. But for its effect, I'm willing to forgive it like almost anything. Anyway, as I mentioned before, this is a highly, highly, highly hydrating mask. The way my skin feels after this is just on a different level. I'm not sure if it's actual lifting properties or just because, you know, sometimes when your skin is moisturized and hydrated well, it just naturally becomes more resilient and it kind of lifts up. And with this, I noticed that the element of my face that I'm most conscious about, which is the smile lines, like, they got lifted up so much. When I saw the effect for the first time, I thought, oh, maybe I just slept well, but then I kept using this and I didn't sleep well. I don't sleep well. In general, I don't. Like, on weekdays, I sleep three to four hours, which is, don't do that, guys. Very bad for all aspects of your health, but I can't help it at this moment. Anyway, the effect that it had, like, I'm not sure if you can see it here, like, that well, but I think you can kind of, like, can you see? Like, it's definitely looking so much better. The skin became less saggy. Like, before I noticed a strong lifting effect only from that purple cream from VT. But this, this is on another level. I, I, I am so impressed. Like, this is definitely gonna become one of my staples. It definitely motivates me to try other products from this brand. Actually, I already did try other products from this brand because when I bought it, I bought it in that set box. The emulsion and softener from this brand and this Extreme White lineup, they are so extremely hydrating as well. Like, I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing the full sizes. I think this is definitely a brand um, people outside of Korea are sleeping on. If you see it, try it. Maybe if you don't need the whitening effect, they have other ones. Just, just give it a try. Next up are two hair products. And honestly, I think once you start dyeing your hair, that often. It kind of becomes impossible to go without those additional hair products. And so today we have this, what is it called? Cream Essence from Mise en Scene from the Perfect Serum series. And another one from the same line as well. This is the Base Up Essence. I'm talking about them together because I think effect-wise they are very, 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 very similar. Except um, I think this one has a little bit of a heat protection properties. But I noticed that they give me the same effect. This one is infused with more oils, which you actually can see on the swatch, because this you can see it's like a lot slicker. This one just looks like um, like cleansing milk or something, like your basic emulsion. It doesn't look oily at all. It looks very like airy and fresh. I really do like them because unlike with the hair oils, I think if you have thin hair, uh, with hair oils, there is like this very thin line where you can put a little bit, just a little bit too much, and then your hair will start looking oily way faster. And this line is very, very, very thin. But with those, there is no such thing. I have this picture here, and um, please don't, please don't mind like how like those uh, front strands look a little bit greasy because honestly this is not a picture of me like with blow-dried hair, like influencer being at home all day with perfectly fresh hair type of hair. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is just me after work, after the whole day, like outside, wherever, in the office. 
and um, usually when I either don't use anything or use hair oil by the time it's time to leave hair is already starting to look greasy but look at this look at this area around the scalp like look how fresh it looks and like how perfectly separated the hairs are actually now this like little bold spots that you see is like the thin hair people problem like oftentimes when you have dark hair and it's thin if you touch it in an unfortunate way you can make it look uh, like you're balding or something but the point of this picture proof is not that it's just to see how nice and fresh it is after the whole day out so yeah i think if you do see them somewhere just grab them if you don't like hair oils or if you want if you just want some good hair essence then try any of them are good the effect is like actually i'm wearing this one today so look hair is smooth shiny nice for something as dry and over dyed as mine So overall, this is good. Please try if you see. Next and last is this body lotion from APLP. Actually, I've had it for so long, I think I broke this thing. It actually doesn't close anymore, but anyway, so like when I'm showing this, it's it's weird looking because I broke it. It's like it wasn't like this originally. I, I broke it. Actually, very funny because I break a lot of those packages. I guess I'm a glue lotion person. Glutathione niacinamide body lotion and um, this one is very nice. It has a lot of interesting herbal ingredients, such as a lot of Sika-derived ingredients, um, Saccharomyces ferment, what else? Artemisia and uh, rice extract as well. So it's very good for your skin. I liked it because of the texture. It's very nice, it's easily spreadable. It doesn't get sticky. Absorption time is like five minutes plus minus like a mm, couple of minutes so basically absorption time is very good as well and the reason i like it is because it's non-scented actually i don't mind scented products when it comes to skincare but i do not appreciate scented body products because the scent tends to change a lot like when your body heats up and then cools down and if something is on your skin its scent is gonna change also, whatever you're applying, that scent is gonna stick to your shits um, for a while. And let's be honest, no one is changing their shits every day. I mean, maybe some people do, but you guys are definitely a minority. So, like, imagine, like, two, three days, like, or four days, your bed is gonna smell like this product. And sometimes it can just give you a headache, you know? So this is very nice that this product doesn't have a scent so i just wanted to say that this is a very decent product that has decent hydrating and moisturizing properties it's also quite softening on the skin so um, i know that aplb is a brand that um, people are curious about and i reviewed it before actually so this product is also good i can also recommend it if you're looking for like a light body moisturizer without a scent and this is it guys thank you for watching this video i <laughs> i talked a lot today and that felt very fun so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video and if you have any questions about the products that i mentioned today um ask them in the comments i will do my best to answer everything and see you in the next one